happy Valentine's Day. Oh no, it's uh, happy um, March Madness. No, it's what is it, Raj? It's it's St. Patrick's Day. It's tomorrow. Yes. No, it's tomorrow. St. Patrick's Day. Today. The 18th. Today. No, see, we don't know, but you know what really doesn't matter because what we do is we come in here, we're actually boosting the immune system. A lot of people don't realize that um, there's science out there that shows that the immune system actually is enhanced through the chiropractic adjustment. So it's kind of fun when, you know, we've got our patients that are coming in here, they get it. A lot of them aren't getting, you know, as as, uh, as sick as they could be, you know. So Raj has been a, a patient of mine for a long time, and so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a quick adjustment on him. And, and uh, you know, we're going to do a full meal deal, I guess, if you will, start at the bottom, work our way up because that's what you're used to, right? Yeah. Uh, but in the process, you know, just stimulation of the cervical spine is actually shown to change the dynamic as far as what goes on with your T-cell count, you know, via your thymus gland. So there's science behind it. It's pretty cool. So, you know, go to your chiropractor, see somebody, uh, you know, if you want to go ahead and see your immune system kick up, okay? Anyway, well, Raj, we can go ahead and videotape you getting this done, right? You don't yeah. have a problem with that? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and go nose in the hole here. And uh, we're going to have some fun. I don't have any Irish music, though. Actually, no, uh, no I can't do it. I forgot, you know, sometimes uh, when you go ahead and you uh, set things up uh, music-wise on Alexa, um, what will happen is is that they'll, uh, they'll go ahead and, and, and shut you down because all that music is copyrighted, so that stinks. Okay, so today we've got a little knot right in here, Raj. Let's go ahead and raise your right leg backwards high as you can. Good, and how about the other one now? Okay, good. Both of those are pretty even, so that's good. A little tight, but... Uh, Shouldn't be a problem here today. Right leg is about a quarter inch short. And relax, relax, relax. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see that, Kim, but uh, his leg, left leg went a half an inch short. That one almost touches. That one, with a little help, does touch. Alrighty, so just gotta write that stuff down. And I'll kind of just go over this stuff as, uh, as we process Raj here. So, a lot of people have questions very often about what it is I'm doing, why I'm doing it. So we thought, hey, you know what, we'll go ahead and we'll do something here. Now sometimes just go old school here and just go ahead and check the patency of, of how things are moving. So if we go ahead and compare that, Raj, which one do you feel is more stuck? You feel like it's that right one sticking a little bit? Yeah. Because that's what I feel too. So I think, you know, confirmation from your patients is huge as well. Now the interesting thing is, is that's also the same side as it's not. So, there's some other things that are going on in there. We go ahead and we always check in here. Now, that doesn't feel very good, does it, Raj? Yeah. And that's along the uh, lateral, uh, actually the medial border of the fibula. And then, of course, right in here, you feel those trigger points, Raj? Mm -hmm. Now, Raj, are you on a, you stand all the time, don't you? No. Nope. What do you do now? I sit on the fork truck. Are you sitting on a fork truck? Are you jamming gears on the fork truck? Or is that all electric now? All electric. Huh? All electric. Is it? No kidding. So, how many years you've been? You've been with uh, GM, right? For a yeah. long time. Yeah, since 02. Since 02. Wow, that's crazy stuff. All right. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm just checking to see if there's some slight movement versus the other side over here as far as his tailbone. I do have the listing as far as what's going on, but, you know, you kind of make sure that you are doing the best for the patient because... They come in and things change over time. All right, Raj, this one here is going to get to you like always. So we're going to get that out of here. There you go. Nice. Now, in addition to that, now we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, let's see here. That's a left, so that's a right there. So what we're going to do here by putting this block in here, I'm going to reset the... Uh, the femur head in through here, which is going to do a couple things. It's going to relax the piriformis. It also, at the same time, is going to relax the psoas, which is a deep hip flexor. Now, a lot of times, too, on that same side, you'll feel the erectors that'll be tight, too. And he's kind of tight on both sides today. So we're going to go ahead and address both of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this first on this side. And just like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close down this. And as we go ahead and come in through here, it's just a little tight, not horrible. And just close that down. Now, there is motion in there, but you've got to remember, every time a chiropractor adjusts you, we actually uh, change the dynamic of what your nervous system is doing. And that can come from the ligaments and the muscle fibers and spindles and corpuscles. And I don't know, did you just see that? Those uh, heels touch, Raj. Isn't that cool? So, I'm going to give this little trochanter, it's a little bump, and now, 
as I go in through here, see how loose that is, Raj? It's tight right in through Right in through here as we come up and through the uh, QLs. We see that a bunch too. Now, before I go into there though, buddy, I'm gonna open these things up for you. Because we gotta, I know, right? Good morning. There you go, buddy. Those don't feel great, do they? But, but it's another portion of the picture here. How's that feel now? Oh, a lot better. See, I mean, you can almost hear the sigh of relief, you know, as far as what we're doing here. But some of it sucks. I mean, you know, not everything's fun and easy when we're doing our chiropractic stuff. So, now, he's still tied in through here, so I'm going to go ahead and try and raise this up. Go ahead and raise your hips up, buddy. Just like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate the space just a little bit because he sits all the time, right? So, sitting is terrible. So, as you're self quarantining or whatever you're doing at home, because now the gyms aren't open either, listen, movement is key. It helps boost your immune system, it helps boost your lymphatic system, it gets your, your cerebral spinal fluid to move, all those things. So, don't go home during your, um, your sequestrous sequestering yourself and sit get moving get your kids out get them moving it's a halfway decent day outside so you know keep them active and going and doing stuff okay so now just so you know this is a real live fire adjustment here okay this isn't any sham anything we're going through this and Raj is going to tell me how he feels and all this other kind of jazz, and of course, you know, just like everybody, I want to make sure I do a good job. Knows that way? Now, in through here, this is important because what we want to do is we want to get these ribs put in a more appropriate position. First and second one, knows that way? Primarily the first one because there's three major muscles that are overstimulated these days from forward head carriage, and those are the scalenes. The middle scalene actually can shut down the blood flow into your arm as well as the nervous flow. That's not good. So we need all the, the flow that we can get. Right, Raj? Yes. So nose to your left. Nose and center. Raj has been with me for a lot of years, and actually, I'll be honest with you, he, uh, he was my first series of adjustments in uh, in practice in which I actually showed his x-rays before and after showing a significant increase in curve. Remember that, Roger? Yeah, yeah. Knows that way? So he was my one of my guinea pigs and after all these years, we're still pals. Those in the center? So, I know, did that feel good? Yes. Knows the other way? These are the most important aspects to cerebral spinal fluid flow and vascular flow to your brain. This also is so significant in trying to get your immune system kicked up. Also, we've seen studies out there that have shown that those two bones getting worked on actually helps uh, change the dynamic of how your blood pressure operates and also cerebral spinal fluid flow. Fascinating stuff, fascinating. All right, so. Kim's heard all this before, so she uh, she might have fell asleep there while she was doing the camera. So, are you awake, Kim? Mm -hmm. All right, she's good. She's good. Everybody, right leg up, high can backwards for me now. Gotcha. How about the other one now? Okay. How does that feeling through there, Roger? Is there still a pinch or anything in there? Just a little bit right in there. A little bit right in the middle here, so not even. So let's do this. I'm going to do something here. You guys might find is interesting. This is called coupling motion, all right? A lot of chiropractors talk about that or they teach you in school, but they don't know how to use it. So what I'm gonna show you here right now is that his spine actually rotates this way. When I go ahead and I bend it this way, it forces it into a, a normal or more neutral position. So I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna go ahead and force that down while it's in that rotation position there. And you just saw I didn't kill it. You felt it. Oh, right, buddy? Mm -hmm. All right, right leg up. How'd you, how'd you can again? Good. A little easier. How about the other one? How about that? Now you feel it on the other side? You're killing me, Holmes. 
All right, so what we'll do on that Sorry, side, <laughs> well, here's the thing. A lot of times when this stuff here, when the hips get locked up, that changes the dynamic of the muscle components in here too, from the ilium into the ribs or the costals. So there's a muscle called the iliocostalis. I actually have had patients come in who had been going to other chiropractors and were getting this area treated uh, by you know physiotherapy and everything else. And the reality was is that the doctor wasn't getting that joint to move. And so that was overworking this area. But because we got so many of our colleagues, they've got away from adjusting, they didn't realize that this here was just a symptom. So what I got to do is I'm going to come in through here based upon his listings and just give that a little bump right in through there. All right, Rod, just do the right leg again. Mm -hmm, good. How about the other one? Is that better? Much. Isn't that weird? And so it's just understanding how it all goes together, right? So what I'm going to do in addition, though, just because this is these are floaters in through here, and they, they actually kind of can get twisted and torqued, I'm just going to go ahead and nicely push this in here, just like so. Now I'm going to get the other side, too, because everything's got to be bilateral and got to be happy, just like that. All right, so Raj, just go ahead and do the right leg up again. Beautiful. How about the other one? Now, I don't know if you can. Can you see that that just keeps getting higher and higher every time? Now, how did that feel that time? Better, a lot better. Any pinches or pulls in there? No. All right, so no pinches or pulls. Now, that's the big thing, too, is, you know, getting in there and communicating with, with your people. Now, now that I've got this, and I want you to see is I want you to see the flexibility here, okay? See this? Now, as I come up... Because Raj sits all the time. Do you see how this flexibility goes away? I mean, he's like a stone. Do you feel that, Raj? Yeah, that's where he hurts. That's where he hurts. Now, it's crazy, but i got to get all this stuff out of the road first. If I don't get this stuff out of the road, then this here is just going to be something that people are going to try and exercise or pound on or foam roll, which, you know, really is overrated um, and could cause other issues. So... Anyway, so what I'm going to do is, it's going to feel like he fell out of a tree. I like using that. Do you ever climb a tree when you were a kid? Yeah. You ever fall on your back out of the tree? Yeah. Takes your wind, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Kids today, they just don't know that kind of fun, do they? <laughs> they just don't. All right, so the, I'm going to whack you here pretty good. There you go. I know. I told you at least, right? This is not Roger's first rodeo, so he knows that his old buddy, Dr. Todd, is going to go ahead and open this up for him. Ugh, dude. All right, take a big breath. Does that feel better? All right, now watch this, guys. Look at that flex. Do you feel that flex in there, Raj? Look at that. This is not, this isn't, this isn't silliness. This is the real deal. All right, now, I'm curious. Let's see if his legs go up even higher. Right leg up. <laughs> How about the other one? Now, that one there, try that one again. There you go, sandbagger. How does that feel back in here? Still good? Yeah. Okay. You got to come back and check this because things can change in here and shift. Sometimes you got to go forwards and backwards when you're taking care of our people. All right, Raj. How do you feel? You doing okay so far? Yeah, good. Your motion's improved greatly. So um, I'll tell you what. Go ahead and hop up and let's see how you're doing. I need my shoulders. <laughs> shoulders too? Oh. oh, my gosh. The work just keeps coming, man. Wait, okay, go and line your back and you can tell me about what you're feeling. Is it on both sides? Yep. All right, go and scoot down just a little bit more for me. All right, so what you got? Right in here. Okay, so he's feeling this right in through here. Now, you know, I take care of a lot of pro and amateur level athletes, but I went right to it. Look at his look at his face when I do this. Ooh. Yeah, all right? I'm not put, pushing that hard. I can come over here and get the same response. This one's actually worse. Yeah. So what I got to do is, I, I mean, that's his bicep tendon, bottom line. Okay, so I'll come in through here and check the, the uh, radius here, which is a little sticky too, all right? Most likely his AC joint's a little jacked up. Let's see if there's any knots in here. Feel that? Mm. And then right here? No. Yeah. So his serratus is hot, his subscapularis is hot, and the axillary component here. So uh, this is a big mess, but that's okay. And most likely he's got the same thing on the other side. So we're going to clear all that out too, all right? No big deal. You just got to do what we got to do. All right. Now, why am I starting down here? Well, this is called a kinetic chain. Kinetic chain is basically a, a, a series of links and movements that all go together to allow the body to function and move. All right, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna open this up real quick, maybe, the table cooperates. All right, and open this space, okay? Do you feel the, the shoulder relax there? Now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna reduce this. How 
by doing the first move, what that does is that allows the, this here to relax a little bit. It still was sore, but wasn't near as sore, was it? Because basically it kind of broke up almost like a contraction that was going on in there. All right, so now we've got all that moved. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the, the radial head. All right, now I'm not going to go ahead and wind up and hit the pitch. It's just a nice little bump, just a little bump. And it doesn't always have to pop, just so you know, okay? So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and open this up. Now, right here, you're not wincing, but there's a big old nut right there. So we're going to open this up because we already know that his rib cage on the other side was very, very angry. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set this in through here. And what I'm doing, remember back in the old days when we'd have a cramp in track or whatever, what did we do? Do you remember? Stretch. You stretch, but not. But the, the big thing was you put pressure on it, remember? Oh, yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm actually putting pressure in here and then giving it a bump. When I give it a bump, that changes the dynamic of the neurology and kind of breaks up the spasm. So it's like a combo meal in that I'm doing a couple things. I'm putting pressure, getting rid of the cramp, but I'm also resetting the neurology in here. No scraping, no this, no that. Now, in addition, we'll get this AC joint, because any time the bicep tendon's out, a lot of times AC joint's not working right either. Uh-huh. Now move that shoulder, buddy. Oh, oh. Well, it feels like a wet noodle. Isn't that crazy? So, I had to go in there and release his scapula, and I could do that all through the armpit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and come over on the other side, most likely do the same kind of thing. We'll go ahead and do the same checks, all right. Yeah, this one's even more lit up than the other one was. So, yeah, right? So, got you crying. Oh, did you hear that? It was my accent. That's why I needed to come and see you. That's right. Now, you heard the accent. I'm, I'm Irish on my grandmother's side. It's, it's St. Patty's Day, you know. Don't you know? <laughs> All right, so that's stuck, too. So, let's go ahead and get this in here. Move this in here. There you go. Now, this one's a little different. Imagine that. Okay. So now, he's still wincing. Do you believe there are some people that say that that little sensation of being out of place doesn't really occur? <laughs> Those are the people you want to just smack, don't you? Isn't that right? Okay, now, this one's a little tighter. All right, that's already crunching. You feel that? All right, so now, come in through here. I don't know. Serratus is sore. Now, here's the other thing. This is so important. Like, say, for example, when I was working with Brooke Sousa right after she tore her bicep. You know, live? Ooh. I better wake you up in the morning, won't it, laddie? Oh. All right. Hang on here. Oh. There you go. I know. We won't show you his face right now. <laughs> Good moving now. Oh. How is it? Oh, so much better. It's so noodly, isn't it? It's the noodliest. Oh. Now listen, it's not always fun when you get to come in and see your old buddy Dr. Todd, but you know, you gotta get in there, you gotta you gotta make changes. Oh that Up you go. so much better. There you go. Ooh. Now, Raj, there are people out there that don't believe in this clicky table thing. Uh, what, do you, what do you got to say to that? Uh, I feel sorry for them. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, you, you've had other chiropractic experiences. Uh, you know, yeah. when you think about what we do in here, uh, how's it different? I mean, that's why I don't go to other chiropractors. Dr. Todd, he does the, the whole thing. Takes care of the whole thing. Well, but, it's because I like you. Yeah. Thank and, goodness. You know? <laughs> Yeah. It seems like he's mistreating you, but uh, not when, you, not after you walk out of here. Well, the big thing is results, right? Right. So, and that's the only reason. I mean, you follow me. You know, you were one of my first patients. You know, almost 20 years ago, and uh, it's been a long time. And I've moved, and uh, you followed me, and uh, you, you know, moved several times. I, well, yeah, but I've always tried to upgrade, you know? <laughs> always tried to do better. So I think this office is pretty good. Yeah, it works. You know? So, but anyway, well, listen, guys, I, you know, on this St. Patty's Day, with all the stuff that's going on, I just want you to, you know, think about this. Don't be afraid. There are other things that can be done. Uh, your immunity, it, it comes from the inside out. So, literally, 
It's not the outside in, folks. I mean, the outside can be nasty, but it's your endurance from the inside out that's going to allow you to stay healthy and stay well. You know, you need to hydrate. Um, you need to take your vitamins. Actually, you know what, Kim, uh, she's got her uh, natu naturopathy certification. What other things should you take, Kim? Zinc, vitamin D, vitamin C. Okay, good. So you heard it from somebody who is a brand new professional in naturopathy. We're really proud of her for that, too. So... Um, and she's been my right-hand gal. In fact, all you guys that uh, you know see me at the different events and whatnot, it's Kim who makes all that happen. So we we absolutely absolutely love our Kim unit. Yes. All right. So she's uh, she's she's been awesome. So thank you, Kim, for being awesome. And uh, I guess that's it for you. Um, do right. you have any other things that you got going on? Yep. Are you happy? Yes. All right. All You're out of here, man. You'd be good. And uh, we'll go ahead and talk to you again. Go ahead and look up uh, inchiropractic.com, and uh, we'd be more than happy to go ahead and get you started at any time. Hopefully, you other doctors, if you see this, you find this interesting, you go to amazon.com, and then you can go ahead and find our book for McDougal Chiropractic Methods, at least part of it. I've got more books to write. So have a great day.